Welcome to the Office of Civil Rights, referred across the department as SOCR. At the Department of State, the Office of Civil Rights is the entity that is responsible for the prevention of employment discrimination. As such, it has oversight over the anti-harassment, EEO, and alternative dispute resolution, also known as ADR program. ADR is a vital component of the EEO process. Here at the department, mediation is the primary technique used. In this role play video you're about to view, we will highlight what the EEO ADR process is all about and how it works. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and welcome to the Office of Civil Rights. Welcome, everybody. I want to thank you for agreeing to use the ADR mediation program. My name is Maggie Phillips. Um, I'll be serving as your mediator. Uh, you may refer to me by my first name, and you can introduce yourselves and let us know how you would like to be addressed. You can start with the agreed. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, my name is Paige Williams. Uh, you can call me Paige, and I'm the one who brought the complaint. I'm Glenn Budd, and I am the responding official official on this matter, and I prefer to go by Budd. My, na my name is Shawnee Shunderwood. I'm the executive director of the Bureau, and I'm the resolving official. The purpose of this meeting is to help you work out an understanding acceptable to both sides in order to resolve a situation um, that has been developing between the two parties. I would like you to understand that my role is neutral, and I serve as a facilitator for both parties in this process. Our goal is to help you figure out your own solution to your complaint. You will have to work together so that we can um, ensure that you two are the ones who decide the outcome of the solution. Uh, I will not be telling you what to do uh, or try to judge what is right or wrong or fact find in any way. This process does not ascribe guilt or point blame we're much more interested in helping you figure out solutions um, for the future versus trying to um, judge what happened in the past. We want to assure you that what you say during our session is confidential. Um, we will be taking notes. We ask that at the end of this process you destroy your notes. We will be destroying our notes. The only notes that will be kept will be um, notes that have terms that we agree upon for a resolution. Um, any of you may ask to take a break at any time if you're feeling it's getting too intense and you need some time to simmer down. Um, you just let us know and then we can take a pause. Um, and you may step out uh, of the room and all we ask is that you let us know what's going on and then we can come back and resume. Sometimes it's helpful for the mediator to meet with you separately. I'll meet with the management or I can meet with the complainant for a caucus. So I just want to let you know that that's something that will be happening during the course of this uh, process. It's also necessary for this process for each of you to sign a written agreement that's in front of you. It just says that you're here of your own accord to participate in the process. Last of all, we would like to discuss the ground rules. We ask each of you agree not to interrupt each other when the other person is speaking. We placed a, a pad of paper and pencil in front of you so that if you have something to say while the other person is speaking, you can keep notes and have that ready when you uh, respond when it's your turn. We ask each of you to agree uh, to not interrupt each other when, you're, uh, when the other person is speaking, to not use any abusive language, name calling. Um, these rules are especially important for the next part of our discussion here. Do you agree? Yes, I, I agree. live with it. I agree. What you say will be kept confidential here. As a mediator, I will not be asked to uh, release information discussed here, nor will they be summoned to court uh, to testify on matters discussed. We would like to begin now with hearing from uh, each of you explain your perspective on this situation. We can start with Paige and get her opening statement. We'll hear from you, Bud, afterward. And if there's anything that you want to say uh, or that comes to mind while she's speaking, go ahead and please make note of them um, and explain your perspective when it's your time to speak. Please begin. 
Thanks, Maggie. Um, I, I guess what, what brought me here today is I've just been noticing recently that, you know, I feel like I'm being treated differently than I have been in the past. I, I've been in this office for a long time. I've been with the department for probably close to 25 years. And, um, you know, when, when Bud became our supervisor, I just sort of felt like uh, a lot of things changed. Like um, we have a lot of younger employees now than we had before. And Bud has taken away some of my duties and responsibilities and given those to these younger employees. Um, and then there's, you know, the rumor mill. I keep hearing, you know, people say that, you know, they're speculating on when I'm going to retire. And I heard one person say that, that they heard, you know, I was even going to retire by the end of this year. And <laughs> Bud's even come to my desk a few times and just asked me point blank, hey, you know, when are you going to retire? So I feel like all of these things together, I mean, things have been going fine for me for all these years. And then suddenly I'm feeling, you know, marginalized and I can't help but think it's because of my age. And so that, that's kind of why I'm here today. Look, Paige is a good employee. She's not my best employee. There is room for development and growth, and I want her to be able to make that happen. But some development is in order. I, I can tell you quite honestly that her age had zero to do with the decisions that I have made as a leader and as a manager. I did hire new employees, and I am, a, as a leader and manager, required to spread those duties out in an equitable way. So that's why that she has noticed some of her duties and responsibilities have been rotated. Have you ever, uh, have you both ever sat down for a performance review meeting or a check-in? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do, I do want to respond to this, but, but to answer your question first, um, you know, we've only done kind of the obligatory performance reviews, like mid-year reviews and things like that. Nothing kind of off schedule. And, you know, the message has always been, uh, you're doing fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, I've never been told that I had any issues with my performance. And, and honestly, it's kind of funny for me now to hear him say, oh, there's room for growth. I mean, growth, I've been in this position for years and years and years longer than anybody in the office. And, you know, frankly, I deserve a promotion. It's time. It's not just because of the length of time I've been here, but because of what I've contributed to the office. And so it sounds to me like he's, he's favoring some of these younger employees and, and almost trying to push me out. That's just how I feel. But would you like to respond to Paige's comment? I would. The, the work that I have assigned her that we've discussed and agreed to, she's performed that at a satisfactory level. But in addition, there have been on occasion some things that we have assigned that are a little extra. She, she's accomplished those things when I've assigned them. Uh, however, for promotion, she currently lacks the experience and the skills necessary to be promoted. I'm, I'm sure she'll get there in time. Not quite there. So what I hear Bud saying is that you are um, an outstanding performer, but you don't have the supervisory experience for a promotion. Uh, can I respond quickly? I mean, you said outstanding. He said satisfactory. And I would just like to point out that my performance evaluations have all been outstanding. And so, you know, this is all kind of news to me that I have these issues with my performance when I've never been put on notice of those. Paige, we as a Bureau are truly appreciative of the good work you've been doing and thank you for your service to the department. If any jobs open up, I can assure you that your application will be reviewed and considered in accordance with the regulations with the utmost diligence. Unfortunately, the only way to promote you at this time is if you apply. How do you feel about what uh, Shanish said? I, I mean, I, I, obviously, I'm not happy with it. I don't really agree with it because I feel like, you know, if they wanted to do something, they'd find a way to do it. But, you know, I guess we just have to disagree. So let's review uh, what you're seeking to resolve for this complaint. You're asking for leadership training at FSI to uh, ensure your advancement since you've not been provided the opportunity to apply for such training and you're also looking for a promotion. Is management willing to consider the remedies to resolve this complaint? I agree to providing Paige 
the opportunity to complete her leadership training at FSI. But with regards to promotion, once Paige completes the training, then the requested promotion will be considered, but it's not guaranteed. You will still need to apply for and compete for the promotion through the proper HR channels. I mean, I, I will agree to the leadership training. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I would ask as a counter offer that I be made to be a team lead of, of the team that I work with, because I think if, if you have a sincere desire to see me succeed and to be promoted, then I need those kinds of opportunities. And so I would ask to be made team lead. Well, I can say this. I'm, I'm not ready to appoint you as the permanent team lead, but I am willing to set up a rotational schedule so that you and other people on your team can have an opportunity to serve as team lead of the month. All right. Do we have an agreement? Yes. Yes, I can agree to that. I can do it. Both parties agree to allowing Paige to take leadership training at FSI. Management will create a rotating team lead of the month so that Paige can gain um, job leadership experience. In addition, Paige would like to apply for future promotions and her application will be reviewed uh, in accordance with the standard federal hiring practices. Um, I want to thank you all for your participation and willingness to resolve this matter.